What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we surfed a long ways and made our way to Cinnabar Island and began exploring Pokemon Mansion. In this episode, we're going to continue exploring Pokemon Mansion, but I believe we need to hit this Mewtwo switch. Of course, it's a secret switch. Now let's see uh, what doors were opened and which doors were closed. That door is still closed. Or, that was open, I think. Not 100% sure. That door's closed. Thought that door, this door was already open. That door didn't change. Oh, uh, do they change between floors? That could be pretty interesting. We can now go upstairs. So hey, let's go for that. More switches. Um, hey, let's get this item though. Iron. I'm gonna be all pumping iron with Biff Atlas. This repels effect wore off. Man, we're just running through these repels. I've also got something to chat about, and it's that I hate having to choose between time and money. <laughs> I'm thinking about the future a lot, and uh, with like school, it's just really, <clears throat> you know, it just takes so long, and I'll get to it in a second. And so, whoa, huge drop off here. Wait, I can fall through? I did not expect that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna... Mm, darn it, I don't want to have to deal with this trainer. You know what? I, I need to switch my Pokemon first because Cooler is gonna die if that keeps up. Let's go with Karama, and I'll continue in a sec. And the thing is, I just... When I when it comes to work, I don't want to spend so much time working that I don't have anything, anything else to enjoy, and I don't want to spend so much time learning so that I can work what I want to work. Because with, like, medicine, you spend so much time... And wait, did I just exit Cinnabar? What? Okay, well, I guess we can at least go and heal. But I don't want to spend so much time, four years of undergraduate, uh, like, experience in college, four years of medical school, and then seven years of residency to become a neurosurgeon. And then once I'm actually a neurosurgeon, I don't want to spend so much time actually working that I don't get to experience anything outside of neurosurgery and while I'd be making a ton of money doing that it's not worth it to me to, for the time and oh, I was just wondering darn it, I didn't want to see if that was opened but I just don't want to be spending so much time not only working to like get a job but to get a job that isn't gonna permit me any more time if you guys know what I'm so saying sorry if it sounds like I'm just ranting but I really do mean when I say and I don't know what to do about it. It just seems like I'm either going to have to do something less interesting and with less money for more time. And I wish I could just, you know, get into like a nice schedule where I wake up, I work out, I record, I can do YouTube, I can play video games, and I can make enough money to support a family and hang out with friends. And that sounds like a lot to ask for, but when it comes down to it, that's... That's a lot of what I want out of life, and that's what I'm going to ask for. So I'm gonna try to find my or try my best to find a solution. And speaking of solutions, I want to try to find a solution to this little puzzle here because I need to get over there, I believe. Does that just mean I fell in the wrong spot? Don't tell me I just fell in the wrong area because we didn't fully explore the third floor. So let's do that. But of course, I hit a switch that's gonna block us off. And whatever. Let me know. I know some of you guys are younger than me. I'm currently 19, for those of you that don't know. And I know some of you are younger and looking forward to, like, jobs in your future. What do you guys want to be? And have you thought about how much time you would actually spend doing your job once you do, once you get to that job? And if you're older than me, let me know what it's like having to try to balance, like, your life outside of work and your in-work life. Because I'm really baffled at how it's even possible and that was like something I had difficulty with in high school even just balancing friends with school I can't even imagine once I have like school and work and then YouTube and interests and friends and a family of my own is that would be a lot and now where else do we have to go okay so we got that item we need to fall through here possibly let's see okay so now we're here and that was not helpful at all. Can we get something from here? Less than different colors are flashing on off. Is this a vending machine? Nope. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure we have to find Blaine in here. I just can't imagine where else he'd be. Is he somewhere on the first floor? I know that this guy's uh, lights or eyes were lit up when we came up here, so maybe we try, try mixing it up so that when we come down here, things are a little different. So that's blocked off. Okay. Now there are two doors down here, I believe, that we need to get through. Right. So that's something that needs to change. Oh, did we? Hmm. Okay, so we need to unlock those doors. And we do so by hitting this first floor switch, which is up, oh my gosh, up here. And then once we do this, we need to go upstairs and then fall through, I believe. That might be it. I'm going to give it a go regardless. But yeah, it sucks thinking about jobs and everything. And one thing, I just wish my college friends could be, like, close, you know? It's crazy thinking that, had I not gone up here? What the heck? That, uh, like, we're all spread out. And I wish I could just be in person with them. February 6th, Mew gave birth. Mew gave birth? Gave birth to Mewtwo? I thought Mewtwo was a clone of Mew, but Mew gave birth to Mewtwo? It could be, like, figurative give birth. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have a Ninetales ditto. <laughs> Our Ninetales is going to be better. Oh shoot, flash fire. Did not think of that. Sorry, I'm speeding this up. But, I'm not really... I mean, the novelty of this battle is the fact that it's a Ninetales ditto. Not because it'll actually be that interesting in battle. And we could easily switch to rain, but what will be the fun in that? We're going to prove that our Ninetales is better. Kurama is the beast. And just like that, <laughs> we have won the Ninetales ditto. And Kurama's almost level 40. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Let's see what else is going on up here. Not too much. No, there's nothing else up here. Alright, might as well head back down. Where else can we go upstairs? Over here. Yeah, that's where else we can go upstairs. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking hard, I can assure you. Let's hit the switch. One other thing I'm thinking about is, I wish I could meet all of you guys in, pe in person because you guys would be a lot of fun to hang out with because we have so much in common and <laughs> like a lot of our interests overlap and that's why you guys are watching my videos and I like talking to you guys. So I wish we could actually meet up in person and hang out. Like playing prop hunt online is super fun, but playing prop hunt, hunt in person would be 10 times better where we can joke around, see each other and hang out and chat. That'd be a lot of fun. Now I already went downstairs there. I'm gonna, I know I've fallen through this pit before, but maybe something will be different because I think I went up and out last time. But instead, this time I'm just gonna keep going downstairs. Pokemon Mansion. Okay, we're still down here. Oh man, there's a whole nother level. Get on my level. Alright, Karama is level 40 and pretty low on health though, so I'm gonna switch to Rain now. Switch to rain, not like terrain, you know. You know what I'm talking about. September 1st, Mewtwo is far too powerful. So OP Mewtwo. Except not in melee. We failed to curb its vicious tendencies. That sounds intense. Alright, I'm gonna keep searching before hitting that switch and see what's already available. Ooh, look at this item. What do we have here? A full restore. That'll be helpful. Probably not, actually. But, eh, whatever. What else is there to explore down here? Nowhere else. Okay, so then let's hit this Mewtwo switch. A not-so-secret secret switch. I guess you could say it's a secret to everybody. And we are just running through these max repels. We're only in single digits of max repels now. Oh no. Pretty soon, we'll be in hordes of Pokemon. What does this guy have to say? Oh man, that's, that's like long range. I just got sniped by that guy. So despite being sniped, we're going to continue moving on. What's up here? Uh, so there's another switch. Let's explore what's available at the moment, though, and get this nice little item. I'm sure that would have been locked off. Ooh, it's a blizzard. That's a strong move. I'm looking forward to teaching that to someone. Now let's see what this switch does. 
Does it block off this door? It does. Okay, so we are meant to progress this way. We don't have to do any backtracking there. Ooh, what's in this little Pokeball? A secret key? Alright, maybe that'll uh, enable us to get inside the gym. That would be nice. What's out here? CM22, Solar Beam. I'm a fire in my legend blah, Solar Beam. <laughs> That's what I think of every time, Solar Beam. And another Repel out. But I think we can now get into the gym. Uh, we can get swole, you know, in the heat of Blaine's gym. Now we just gotta get out of here. So we gotta undo a couple switches. And we can finally get our 7th gym badge. Can you believe that we're already getting farther and farther in this? Ah, it's ridiculous. Redonkulous. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, we have to go downstairs. And then we have to hit the original Mewtwo switch. So that we can open up those gates and get out of here. Man, just trying to escape. I feel like this is like one of those mansions. You know what? I bet this map would be great for a horror map. If someone has the capabilities, please make a horror map that's like this puzzle exactly. Because without like a top view point, this game would actually be scary if you like tuned up that map. So first of all, uh, let's heal up with Nurse Joy. And to be honest, guys, I've given up on this Nurse Joy, so I'm not even going to bother with this one. <laughs> So we can heal up, we'll be ready for the gym. Uh, I want to check up on how our <laughs> our resurrection is going, actually, of our Lord Helix. What does this girl have to say? I like her hair. I came to visit the Cinnabar Gym, but the door is locked tight. There should be a key for it somewhere. Could it be in that burned out mansion? Oh, well, I guess we found it already. No, I actually do like her hair. I wish... This is going to sound really kind of weird, but I wish, like, uh... In anime, there's like red and like purple hair and like green hair, and it all looks great in the anime. But people in real life don't look enough like anime people to pull it off, if you know what I mean. And I wish it were the other way around. You're late. Oh, sorry, my bad. Ooh, it's an Omanite. Nice. It's gonna send it to the PC. Um, should we nickname Omanite? Yeah, we're gonna have to. Let's see. Can we say Praise Helix? If so, I just got to commemorate. Um, no, we're not going to be able to. Alright, well, then if anything, we're going to put... Oh, we're going to put Lord Helix. That's what I'll do. Gotta commemorate Twitch Plays Pokemon. I had so much fun with that, actually. I know a lot of people said it was stupid, but I only had fun. Uh, I, I stuck for, like, the very first one, when it was Gen 1. And that was a ton of fun, but other than that, I stopped watching. And now we can give him the old Amber, which is going to be a nice little Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is actually a really cool Pokemon. Oh, wait. Darn it, did I just... Ah, give him the old Amber. You don't have to be so possessive. Gosh. Hurry and give me that. And then apparently we're late. I take a little time. You go for a walk for a little while. Sure, we'll just go walk on over to your gym and uh, defeat your gym leader. How about that? I hate that we can't run indoors. It feels so slow. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look at this gym. What's this guy have to tell us? Yo! Champ in the making! The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro! Douse his spirits with water! You better take some burn heals too! Or you're about to get burned! Alright, so what does this trainer have? Oh, and so we gotta take down, like, each of them before we can move on to the next one? Hey, that's a cool idea. So let's see what, uh, Blaine's gym is like. I was a thief, but I went straight as a trainer. Oh, cool. So you weren't straight? Is that what you were saying? <laughs> I don't have anything to say about that. I'm... Uh, God, I'm not even gonna get into the topic, to be honest. Alright, let's see. To intimidate? That ain't gonna affect us. Because we're special attackers. Oops, I sped that up for a second. I'm getting used to just skipping and uh, speeding up these trainer battles. Rain is going to be uh, level 40 soon. Team is progressing actually quite nicely. Look at Vulpix. It's so cute. The only thing is it has red eyes. So I can imagine just like... If I had a pet Vulpix, which would be absolutely adorable. If it were like nighttime or something like that, just like wake up and like have your Vulpix look at you and just got these like red beady eyes in the night. That would just be pretty creepy. It's like in those like horror movies when they're like surrounded by like wolves or something like that and you just see like all the little eyes appear would not want to deal with that 
Aw, oh, darn it, we're confused. You know, it's pretty funny. Uh, when you hit yourself, because you're confused in the uh, Gen 1 simulator, it says that you whacked yourself in the crotch, which I thought was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I actually lolled when I saw that for the first time. And now Raid is level 40, and we defeated our first gym leader, not first gym leader, first trainer in this gym, getting that much closer to the gym leader. I don't think uh, any of the other like trainers are going to be that similar or that different from this guy. Let's take a look at this guy, though, just to be safe. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? No, luckily, but if you do, I feel bad, and I hope you recover from all of your burns. Use all of the uh, burn heals. Super Nerd Eric sends out a Vulpix. Yeah, much of the same old. I thought he was going to be a scientist. And they usually have, like, Magnemites, Magnetons, uh, Voltorbs, and Electrodes. All that science related stuff. I'm a big science guy. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. I like my biology, my chemistry, my physics, as you guys know or would hope so, considering I plan to be a doctor. But... Oh, man. Rain is just... Sweeping or surfing right over this entire gym. The Ninetales, so many Ninetales. Ninetales is a pretty Pokemon, I guess, but it's still got those red beady eyes. I just couldn't handle those. This is like so mean eyes. You know, I bet if you just like, if you just look at the head of Ninetales and it's like hair, it could probably be turned into like some Sonic the Hedgehog character. I wouldn't be surprised if someone's already done it, actually. <laughs> All right, we defeated the super nerd. Not too shabby, Rain. Not too shabby. So we got a scientist, and then who else? We got two more people. Oh man! All right, well, let's see how this guy is. Ooh, we got ourselves a Ponyta. There's a new Pokemon. That we haven't seen yet. I was originally going to skip this battle, but we got a Ponyta, and I love its mane of, like, fire. That's actually a really creative Pokemon, if you ask me. And I always used to say, uh, Ponyta, but then I realized that it's Ponyta. So, like, one thing I've learned that helps with pronouncing different things is just look for the root of the word, especially for, like, games, like, like, Raikou. Even though it's, I think it's supposed to be pronounced Raikou. It's basically Rai from like the Alleg Electric and Japanese, I think, and Cougar. So like it would make sense if you pronounce it Raikou. So like Charmander, like Salamander, even though it's really cute, we had to make it faint. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Charmander, but I guess I'm really not that sorry. And it's funny, now like at first, when you're like a kid, you look at these Pokemon and they always look cool or like cute and stuff, but now you can actually appreciate a lot more to each of them, like when you're older. And you can look at them from like much deeper level, like stats and like their roots and like the origins and what they're based off of. And in addition to what you why like the reasons you liked them when you were a kid, which is pretty cool. Now we got a Growlithe. I think we've seen the full spectrum of Fire Pokemon here. We've seen quite a few, and we might even have to heal Rain afterwards to restore that PP. And Rain's gonna be level 41. Yeah, she is. I mean, for the rest of these trainers, I might train some other Pokemon, to be honest. Because Rain is going to clean up a lot of experience uh, in the actual gym battle. So let's switch it up. Yeah, let's give Nightwing some experience. That guy just had one really strong Ponyta. Ooh, we got ourselves a Rapidash. That's really cool. I was just expecting, like, one more little trainer, but... Uh, no, he's got himself a Rapidash. Let's see if Nightwing can handle this. Rapidash is like a fiery unicorn, whereas Ponyta was just like a, you know, like a fiery horse. But no, this one's got a horn, and it's using it pretty well with its Fury attack, if I might say so myself. I'm gonna finish this off, and then we'll be at Blaine. Moving lighter right along. At least I think we'll be at Blaine, if I remember correctly. But this Rapidash is no match for Nightwing. Nightwing just cleaning up. Literally blew him away. Uses wings, wing attack, creating all that wind, blowing out the fire that drives Rapidash. That's probably a little dramatic for Pokemon, now that I think about it. <laughs> just like that, I think... Are we there? 
Nope. Oh, we got one more trainer. Alright, Nightwing is level 40, and we still have another trainer. Okay, I think we're finally at Blaine. He's such an old man. He kind of reminds me of Dr. Wily, except without the crazy, like, hair on his head. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy, though. He's got all of his... Oh, I love that emblem in the back. They have the emblems in the badges, and I see... What art we do? artwork does he have? It's a photo of Blaine and Mr. Fuji, standing shoulder to shoulder with big rings. Such cool guys. But, all right. We are finally at Blaine, the leader of the Cinnabar Gym, and we're going to be taken down in the next episode. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.